Unchain My Heart by Golgoroth. We're gonna do the full song. So this song was tabbed by my friend Afra. Here's channels in the description. We covered this song for his channel. And here's how to play it. So you first need a guitar in D standard. We're using these notes, seventh fret on A, 10 and nine. And it's all in 16th notes. So in beats two, three and four of the song, the first note changes. So four picks on seven, one on 10, three on seven, and then it's nine, seven, 10, seven, following the same rhythm. Then it's two picks on nine, two picks on seven on the D string. Then following the same ending on the first bar. And we do the same thing now, but we change the first note. So instead of playing the seventh fret, we're playing the sixth fret on A. And then we do the same thing, but the eighth fret on E. And that's the trickiest one because of the string skipping. And the trick is to keep your middle finger fretting the low E on the 8th fret. And then it goes back to the second part of the riff when you move down to the 6th fret. And that just repeats until you get to some power chords. 6 and 8 on A and D. And then 8 and 10 on E and A. You can also play that second chord down here on the same strings as three frets down. And the fourth time ending is same idea, but just different chords to finish off the riff. So it's the B power chord here, two and four on A and D. Then G. So here's the whole riff, just played slowly. is much simpler. So we've got this rhythm here. You just have to repeat that round quite a few times. That little ending there. 320 on the E, then the B flat power chord 113. Then the second time around, we've got that pinch harmonic there. Now pinch harmonic is pinch harmonics are very difficult to explain over the internet, but basically what you need to do is pick in such a way that the side of your thumb, this bit here, touches the string at the same time, so you get the harmonic sound. Like that. The first part's quite simple. The first part repeats, and then you just get the the two palm muted power chords at the end to finish off that section. Now we get to the groovy riff. So here's what you do. You do a palm mute 
strum, palm mute on the low E power chord. And then hammer ons and pull offs. 2 3 2, 1 2 1 on the low E. And that last time round, palm mute, then the pinch harmonic second fret of A. Next part is just lots of palm muted 16th notes, and here's the notes. The open E string, 2, open, 3, 5. You got the harmony starts with a slide. Nice and simple, all palm muted. Slide down on the D string, 9, 7, 9, 10, 12. And then we have the big riff. So 95% of this song is palm muted. It's a nightmare in an endurance perspective. So the riff. Open low E, 7, 10 on A, back to open low E. Then 7, 10, 7 on A. So the next part, 9, 12, 9, 10, then the trill, all on the A string. Then the first bit repeat. The next part, 877 from E to D. Then 5754 on the D string. Then 579 on the A string. And then you just need to play that with 16th notes in your right hand with the palm mute. Then you have this ending here. So that's 875 from E to D strings. 775. Same strings. Then 57 from low E to the A string. So now here's when the guitar harmonies come in and there's a variation on the riff. And there's some changes in the riff. Then it's 075 from E to D. Slide up two frets. And the little tail 9, 797. Seven, down to 5 all on the D string. The other guitar just follows the same kind of thing except for the ending. Like that, so it's just 10 and 9 on the D string. Both guitars do the same thing, it follows the basic beginning from the other if the ending is different. So it follows this major tri shape again. So then it's 5754 five, on the D string, then the fifth fret on A, then 5 and 7 on D. And then the riff just repeats, it's just repeated sections that you've already played. Then there's a slight variation to the ending part of the riff. So the ending is, again, that same major triad shape, the 5754 bit, but instead we just play that fourth fret for longer and then go up the frets. 
Then the riff repeats and we have this variation on the ending. So we've got another pinch harmonic right at the end. And guitar two does this. So instead of playing the at the end, that power chord shape. Next riff, again, two guitars playing two different things, but it's nice and easy. So one of the guitars is playing open E. 10 and 8 on the low E. And the other guitar is just harmonizing, so they'll be playing the 9th fret on A and then the 7th fret on A. Then to finish off, big pinch harmonic on the 7th fret. And then after the pinch harmonic, it's back to that riff again. Then after the repeat of the big riff, it's back to the palm muti riff, but without adding a pinch harmonic on the final repeat of the riff. Then after that, it's back to the riff and that repeats for a few times and to finish off the song just this cool rhythm for quite a few bars